funny. We, we, we see Judas. He knew that Jesus was innocent. In his sin, he knew that Jesus was innocent. Pilate's wife knew that Jesus was innocent. Pilate washed his hands of this innocent blood. But these high priests and elders convincing the crowd, talking with them, convinced them to ask for Barabbas and let, and let him go. And not just that, but convincing the crowd to yell for Jesus to be crucified. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. I'm sure some of you have heard this. Barabbas. You know what Barabbas is? What the meaning of it is? Bar Abba, son of father. Son of a father. That's what it means. This man, Barabbas, a notorious prisoner, deserving to be there, deserving of his consequences, guilty of his crimes, is here. And then we see with a capital S, the son of the father, to the right, innocent, not deserving of any of this, not at all. And who they ask for? Jesus. They want Jesus to be put to death. Hmm. This is a good image. Um, I'm sure I've shared this many times, and you guys have heard this, but I love these two words, and Rebecca has a cool shirt. I always make fun of it because it looks different, but it says, but God. But God, those are wonderful words to say, but God. In your testimony, we've all gone through something like this, but God. So this is an image of who we are. We are Barabbas. We are the ones deserving of the consequence of our sins. And what does Jesus do? He said, I got this. What do you mean you got this? No, no. I deserve this. That was one of, the, the, one of the, the, the lies that I believe. I don't know where you land with that. I say to myself, no, no, God, how can you do that? That's for me to own. I messed up. I will do it. And he says, no, I got it. So I've set my pride aside, and I've said it over and over again, this pride. All right, God, Jesus, I accept that you will take my punishment, my Consequence of my crimes, consequence of my sin. He takes on my death. He took on your death, your grief that you deserve, the betrayal that you deserve, that I deserve, the forsakenness. He took it on. When he's dying on the cross there, in Matthew's, the thing that he writes last, and we know he says more, but what, is, what does Jesus Christ say? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That's something we should be saying, but we don't have to. Jesus gets to do that for us. He gets to be ripped away from the Father. And then Jesus cries out, with a loud voice and yields up his spirit and dies. 